It is my honor to recognize Dave Schaub as the recipient of OPC's Industry Excellency Award. So I was blessed as a new exec in the state of Ohio to have such great leaders to come into a new organization and a new state for me. And Dave Schaub was my first president. And I've always appreciated Dave for being such a senior mentor and doing a great job of mentoring the leaders that are behind him so that we have such a strong organization throughout the years. Yeah, I think, I think Dave's uh, extremely deserving of this award. Um, you know, he's been not only a big contributor on his home farm, but a big contributor throughout the entire uh, pork industry in Ohio. Uh, he's obviously been on the board uh, for the council a few times. People know the Shout Brothers, they respect the Shout Brothers, and uh, definitely he just exudes that level of leadership. Confidence, never arrogant, just that level of leadership that people want to follow. One thing I've always appreciated about Dave is his curiosity. He always wants to improve, he wants to do better, and be better today or tomorrow than what he was yesterday. And in that process, whether it's working with Ohio pork industry or with his farm, with his family, uh, that's a, a something that I want to be like. Uh, so over the time I spent with Dave working at the Ohio Pork Council, uh, it was always fun to watch Dave because he always led by example. Uh, and so if we were looking for volunteers to help with anything from uh, cooking events to tasting uh, to inviting uh, state legislators or, or uh, elected officials up to his farm for tours uh, or hopping in a, a car and driving to New York to be there for the bacon vending machine on Fox, Fox News, uh, Dave was always right there willing to jump in and help out. No, no job was, was too big or, or too small for Dave. Dave's leadership quality is speaks well to his demeanor. He's reserved. He's not quiet, but he is very reserved in his ability to take care of things. And I think that comes from a close family relationship that him and his brothers have and his parents and his community and his work with the church. Dave has definitely positively you know, it had a huge positive impact on the Ohio pork industry. But I can definitely tell based on his interaction with people at different, um, at different meetings, at different conferences, that people respect his opinion. They listen to what he has to say. He does the same thing for them, right? I mean, he's gonna ask them questions and listen to their opinion. He's that, that lifetime learning aspect is one of the things that, or lifetime learning uh, attribute is one of the things that I definitely respect for Dave. He's just constantly trying to learn good leader brings trust, stability, hope, and compassion. And that's one thing that I would describe Dave without even trying. Over time, of course, with Dave being a, um, an accredited veterinarian here in Ohio, he always has a great passion and an interest in the herd health here in Ohio. I served on the health committee for, for a long time, a lot of interest in the research and things that's going on and how to improve the health of not only his own pigs, but the pigs for everybody here in the state. I have one very specific memory of my time with Dave. I don't know whether it was his first trip to Washington, D.C. with us on the Capitol Hill or his second one, but I'm pretty sure it was his first meeting with Senator Brown. And he was, since he was a veterinary, and there's always the issue of antibiotics, Dave was given the, the target of, you know, you bring this up with Senator Brown so that you can discuss because you're so well versed on it. So Dave says his first opening line about, you know, I understand you have some concerns about antibiotics and he's saying a little bit about, you know, how we use the antibiotics and Senator Brown comes back, you know, with this thing, well, that's not what I've heard. And at that point, I say, he's a vet. And Dick Isler is saying, we're almost saying it in unison. Senator Brown realized that, okay, I've got, I'm talking to someone that's, got, that's above my pay grade now, so I better listen. And Dave was just calm and cool and collected as he always is. And just in his calm manner, he just started right back where he was at before, answering Senator Brown's you know, questions. And that's just what we need is that type of influence to where 
we can get our actual story out, and Dave did the perfect job of delivering it. As long as I've known Dave, he's been an elder or in a leadership in his own church and within the community there in Orville and the surrounding area. Uh, that's one thing that I've always had a huge amount of respect for Dave is his outreach toward the community. You know, you definitely tell that uh, when you work with the entire family and with Dave, you can definitely tell they're a people of faith. Um, and, and they express that and make that known. They live their faith. Um, they you know, work together as a family. Family is extremely important to them. And the farm, they all make sure that they take good care of the farm. They take good care of the animals. You know, Dave's background as a DVM and having his PhD and all the knowledge and education he's received over the years, he applies that to, to what he does at the farm. You know, the other part of that too is during Dave's uh, time on the board and then during his time as presidency uh, at the Ohio Port Council, he did a phenomenal job of making sure that everyone in the room at different times had the opportunity uh, to give some input and, and really dive in and, and be a part of the conversation. Uh, he, he really tried to lead through and provide that opportunity for input for everybody. Uh, and I think that's one of the reasons that not only that they elected him to be president of the Ohio Port Council, uh, but the folks still reach out to him and keep in contact with him even after his time on the board because he developed such good, good friendships and relationships through that time and, and leading through those challenges. Congratulations, Dave. We appreciate everything you've done for Ohio Pork Council, and you're well deserving of this award. Definitely want to congratulate Dave on this award. I think he's extremely well deserved. Congratulations, Dave, on winning the Industry Excellence Award. Dave, I want to congratulate you from the bottom of my heart. This is a well deserved award, one that's been waiting for you. And I'm so happy that you gave service, dedicated your time to Ohio Pork, and I've been honored to be able to sit here and just add a little bit to your tribute.